Hi, I'm Daniel Mathoya Jr. from Austin, Texas. <laughs> and you're watching Document. Guess who's black? Black again. Triple black. Tell a friend. Yes, Adidas has done it again. They did it to us. Another Ultra Boost in triple black. And this time, it's more black, but not entirely black. So you know that means they're going to release a third version of the Ultra Boost 4.0 in what will probably be the definitive special edition turbo triple black. That was a little Street Fighter 2 for you. So in terms of size, I wear a size 9. Normal size, this shoe, true to size. And since it's an Ultra Boost, 4.0 and very little has changed in all the point O's. Let's go over it very quickly. On the bottom of the shoe, you have your stock black continental rubber outsole with what appears to be a dark burnt orange torsion system plug. The midsole of your shoe is your standard thick with two C's blacked murdered out boost midsole. Your black heel cup or heel counter is in that faux 3D printed matte textured material and it has the black Ultra Boost branding in a shiny deep dark black. You have your flat black laces this time with what appears to be red tips though it's closer to a reddish orange definitely more red than the torsion system plug underneath the shoe but not nearly as red as the removable insole and then your cage is made out of black Nubuck material. With a few exceptions this version of the triple black is pretty close to the previous version of the Ultra Boost 4.0 triple black. Same rubber outsole, this time the torsion plugs are different color. The heel cups and heel counters are the exact same. The previous cage is made out of a nylon material and not quite as black as the new iteration. The old laces have a little bit of speckles of brown and even a little gray in them, so it's not entirely all black. Though on the previous version, the aglets ends of the laces are glossy black. The new version's not. And then last but not least, you have the Primed Upper. The new version, a lot darker, but still maintaining some color that isn't black. The old version is less black. It's closer to a brownish grayish black, while the new version is closer to black. Again, it's not entirely black. So await a third version. I'm sure it's coming down the pipeline. Why wouldn't they do it? Money grab. Yeah, I'll probably buy it. So really, if you're looking for a triple black shoe and you haven't bought the previous version, sure buy this version. If you already have the previous version and I'm wondering if you want to spend the money on that shoe, wait till it's on sale. It's already going on sale, so you might as well grab it on sale. Don't pay retail, definitely don't pay resale. It's not that much of an improvement. Basically the same shoe. Just a matter if you want it in your collection, like I do, or you just like all of Ultra Boost and All Black and you just gotta have it, kinda like I do. I will say I am a huge fan of the new butt cage. I love when Adidas tries new materials on the cage, whether it's suede, whether it's leather, whether it's new buck, whether it's nylon. So good on them for that. And while I do understand why these tips are red to sort of match the insole and the plug, I do wish they were all black. But if I tire of these tips, I do have a plan. I could just put on some rope laces from Lace Lab that are all black. So what about you out there in shoe land? Do you pick up the phone and pay for the charges or do you hang up? Let me know in the comments down below. As we wrap up this video, I want to give a quick shout out to everyone who's been supporting the channel over the last year or so. We just passed over 2,000 subscribers, which means in the one year, we gained 2,000 subscribers. So yay, hooray, thanks everybody. As I used to say, prayer emojis and hallelujah hands. So with that, I say good shoot. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill to the next episode.